it finally happened. Samsung just flipped the switch, and One UI 8 is no longer a rumor or a beta test playground. It's here, it's real, and it's rolling out faster than anyone expected. But before you get too excited, there's a twist. Not everyone is getting it right away, and some of you might have to wait a little longer than you'd like. And trust me, this update might just be worth the wait because Samsung has packed one UI 8 with features that feel like the future of Android. Welcome back viewers, James here. If you love staying ahead of the curve with all things Galaxy, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, and let's dive right in. So here's the deal. The rollout officially began on September 15th, starting with the Galaxy S25 series, S25, S25, S25 Ultra, and even the S25 Edge. That's right, Edge owners didn't get left out this time. Samsung had already hinted at a September launch, but the exact date dropped out of nowhere, catching a lot of users by surprise. And as always, it's a staged rollout, meaning some regions and devices will get it before others. If you haven't seen the update yet, don't panic. It's coming. But what makes One UI 8 such a big deal? Well, this isn't just a coat of fresh paint. Samsung has gone all in on three major fronts AI, customization, and security. The AI features are where things get seriously cool. The new now bar and now brief tools aren't just faster. They feel smarter, almost like they know what you're about to search before you do. AI, select has been redesigned so it feels more natural, helping you complete everyday tasks with fewer taps. It's like Samsung is trying to turn your phone into a personal assistant that actually understands you. And if you're the kind of person who loves tweaking every little thing about your phone, you're gonna love this. One UI 8 doubles down on customization. Widgets, themes, system colors. You can fine tune them like never before. Even built in apps like Calendar Clock and Reminders have been overhauled to be more practical, smoother, and honestly, just prettier. Security hasn't been left behind either. Samsung Knox just got beefier with stronger protection for your data and upgraded privacy tools. Secure folder is even more, well, secure, giving you that extra layer of protection for your sensitive files and apps. Quick Share got a redesign too, making file transfers feel snappier, and now you can beam audio to multiple devices thanks to Bluetooth AuraCast. Even Dex, Samsung's desktop mode, feels smoother, like it's finally ready to replace your laptop for good. And the rollout isn't just for the newest flagships. Samsung confirmed a massive list of eligible devices, and it's one of their biggest update pushes yet. The S25 series is first in line, of course, but the S24 and S23 Linux are next. Then come the S22 series, foldables like the Z Fold 6 and Z Flip 6, and even last year's Fold and Flip models. Fan edition devices like the S20F, S23 FE, and S21 FE are all getting one UI 8 too. Tablets aren't forgotten either. The Galaxy Tab S10, S9, S8, and their FE variants are on the list. And yes, mid-rangers like the A56, A55, A54, A36, A35, and even budget models like the A07 and A06 are included. That means by the end of 2025, most Galaxy users, whether you're rocking a flagship or a budget phone, will be running Android 16 with One UI 8. Europe is already feeling the wave. After South Korea and India, Galaxy owners in Germany and the UK are now seeing the update notification pop up. Beta testers are being prioritized, with their phones shifting to stable builds through a smaller incremental update. For non-beta users, the update package is about 566 MB and comes with the September security patch. If you're in the US, you might be next. Samsung seems to be moving faster than usual this year. So if you haven't already, go check your software update section. Even if you don't see One UI 8 today, the rollout is expanding every week and your device might be next. And trust me, once you start using these new AI tools and customization features, going back will feel impossible. What do you think? Is One UI 8 the smartest update Samsung has ever done? Or are you holding out for something bigger in One UI 9? Drop your thoughts in the comments because I want to hear what you're excited about most.